This is Robbie at tech-tut.com and I'm working on the infrared LED jammer and this is the 555 timer version that you can see pictures at tech-tut.com backslash IR jammer that's it I'm gonna reuse the case and the switch but this board is gonna be a goner I, I gave up on the 555 thing on the scope it worked out fine but everywhere else it just it wasn't cutting it now I've seen other designs with microcontrollers so I said I'm gonna make my own I couldn't find any code but now that wouldn't be any fun now would it so I wrote my own and you can see the signals going on if we try to zoom in I can't zoom in on any one signal I have four frequencies that switch it goes 48 45 38 33 kilohertz now if you go to the math menu I've got a fast Fourier transform going here and if we turn the frequency down to 5 kilohertz per gradient you can see it's cycling through these are the four um, this middle line is 25 kilohertz this is 33 38 43 45 something like that I've got it up on the side I can't quite remember right now I've done this video enough I should know you can see it cycling through it the way that this works is it really even after a signal passes it seems to hold it there for just a minute and you can see there's a ton of harmonics going on in here but that's just so much fun that I can't stand it okay now this is the picket 2 and I've prototyped it on the Picket 2. I have a bunch of other prototype stuff that I use to test little circuits out. We're going to disconnect the oscilloscope from the circuit so it won't draw it. Put draw, make, make sure the LED actually works. You can see the volume works on my TV that I use for my computer. I like dual monitors and my other monitor finally kicked the bucket. Now, I'm pointing this at the screen without pulling it off the desk, the Picket 2, and you can see I'm pushing buttons. See, That volume is not working. The channels won't work. Let's hit the power button. Good, it's not make, making me look stupid. Input button, it's not working because we're pointing this at the screen. Now this is a test only from three feet, two feet maybe, but it seems to work and we'll put a different LED this is a 45 degree LED I've got some 18 degree LEDs that I found that I had from DigiKey from a couple years ago and that is pretty much it you got it going on here pick it to you can find all the code at tech-tut.com backslash IR jammer uh, or you can find where I blogged about it and I have a link to it because I put it on a different website you see that thing holds it even if it's not dis not connected. Anywho, that is my infrared jammer overview. Um, finally, before the battery dies on this cheap, dumb camera, flip flipping me off because it's making me mad. Uh, I wrote the whole program in assembly, and you'll see that on the website. Even though I started this in CCSC, I wound up writing it almost all in assembly because I can get better resolution with the timing and better control just using no ops and you'll see there's a bunch of them in this program but all the codes there I've commented as best I could in the program itself download the MP lab and you can compile actually just assemble this in a machine code and download it to your program programmer and you can even build a programmer, so I've heard. I went the easy route. I pushed the easy button and just got the Picket 2. They have the Picket 3 out now from Microchip. If you have any questions, I'm Robbie at tech-tut.com. Thanks for viewing. We'll see y'all with another project.